Hey guys, it's Heather. I am the founder and admin of the Facebook group Jumping Spiders USA. I uh, have just started this YouTube channel because I actually spend a lot of my day over there in my group answering questions. And so I figured maybe I could start making videos and that might make things um, clearer and I can answer questions better that way and help more people. So about me, my name is Heather James. Again, I run the Jumping Spiders USA. And um, what is my experience in spiders? Well, mostly it just comes from being an enthusiast and an owner. I have been into jumping spiders for the last two years now. And as far as educational background goes, I have a biology degree, but there are very, very, very few arachnology uh, courses of study out there. I've actually looked into it and um, there, there isn't a whole lot in the way of that here in the US. So my educational background for this is mostly just a generic biology degree and just like reading, you know, everything I can get my hands on about jumping spiders, but mostly it's from, you know, connecting with and learning from other owners and enthusiasts and just um, really getting into the hobby myself. Like that's probably been like, you know, my number one way to learn what I've learned and just, you know, having spiders and watching them and reading about them and learning about them. And it's been, you know, a super cool journey. So today what we are going to do is I am going to go, I'm going to talk about um, all the tools that you will need to get started in the jumping spider hobby. And if you hear a noise in the background, I have two sons and they're super into video games. So they're gaming and, you know, yelling with their friends in the background. So that's what that is. So let's get started. So first of all, you don't need all of these things. Um, it just really depends, but this is like, you know, pretty, a pretty complete, um, set up for everything that you could anticipate um, needing for your spider. The only thing that I don't have here that you are 100% going to need is a food source. And you can go to like PetSmart, Petco, your local um, pet store and get, uh, you know, depending on the size of your spider, things like fruit flies, um, uh, black soldier flies, uh, blue bottle flies, um, mealworms, wax worms, dubia roaches, you know, those kinds of things. I'll make videos on that, more on that in the future, but you're definitely going to need a, a, an appropriate sized food source for your spider. So you're going to need a finger squirter, like, you know, a little um, fingertip sprayer. This is just from Walmart. Uh, two fluid ounces and this is what you're going to use to squirt water in every day and then a little paintbrush like this and what this is for is if you need to move your spider if um, a spider so you need to like transfer them from one um, enclosure to another this is to you know move them help move them along and it's not going to hurt them it's really um, soft and gentle and this is a Sharpie and I use this um, to write on the cups. Like if I need to know, you know, which spider is which or how, you know, how, how long I've had the spider, when they lay their eggs, last molt, things like that. I write on their containers. Sometimes I write right on the container, but a lot of times I reuse containers, recycle them uh, for, you know, other spiders when the time comes and you can get some masking tape and uh, write on the masking tape. Tweezers and or feeding tongs. Um, it's like trying to focus on other things, sorry. <laughs> Tweezers and or feeding tongs and it's, you know, to like pick up, you know, mealworms or whatever out of the, um, the feeder container and put it where it needs to go. So this is a lamp. You'll need some kind of lamp or heat source. This is just a regular uh, desk lamp. 
You can get um, heat lamps. Just make sure that you don't keep the heat lamp too close to your spider, like maybe about a foot away or so. They love warmth. They love light. Um, so that you'll definitely need that. I have this. It's a roll of organza tool. And I'll show you more about what I need that for in a moment. Um, scissors, you know, if you are into enclosure making, um, you'll definitely need scissors. I have little round magnets here. This is for making enclosures. I have these little paper tubes. I, this is one I've already cut and it comes in the craft section. There's, it comes a bunch of different sizes and I use these sizes and I um, cover them and I cut them down to whatever length I want and then I take this twine and I hot glue the twine around them. I'll make more videos about that in the future. I've got a drill with, I don't know what size um, drill bit this is. I don't know if it's gonna focus on it, but it's um, very, very teeny tiny drill bit. Grommets glue gun sticks hot glue gun mine is a mess because i've glued a lot of things a soldering iron right here clear silicone you can also get the kind that is um specifically for uh, fish tanks, aquarium silicone. You can also get that, but this is fine as well. Um, if you use it, this would be for um, plugging up any holes or like two large gaps in enclosures. You would just super, if you're gonna use this kind, just make sure that it is completely dry. Follow the instructions on the back. Make sure it is completely dry and you know, give it a couple days to air out to make sure that there aren't any harm, harmful fumes coming off of it. And then I've got several types of enclosures here. So let's go over them. So this one is just an enclosure that I got from Target. This is a Halloween decoration. It's not the greatest because it opens from the bottom. You've got to like take all, um, you know, these and then you got to bend these and then the whole top comes off. I uh, put ventilation holes in this. I used the, you can see here, I used the um, soldering iron to make all these little holes. And then in the, uh, the edges up here, you can see that I used the clear silicone to um, cover up any gaps. There are no spiders in any of these right now. And then this size is one, these are our little AMAC boxes, A-M-A-C boxes that come from the container store. And you can get, like I've got little, um, like I made these little mushrooms out of clay and paint. That's another thing that you can get. I made the little thing in the bottom. This is moss and that green stuff that they used at the florist, that, that green foam that they use at the florist. And then I glued um, moss to that and I made these little um, mushrooms and you can get um, the silk flowers from Walmart or Michaels or anywhere like that. And then this is what I use the twine and those little cardboard, those little paper tubes and the magnets for. I make these little hides, like it is a hide and it's, this is dusty. I haven't used this one in a while, but you can see that there used to be a little tiny spider in there and you can see that, uh, they like going up in there and making their little hammocks inside there. And this is another container that I made myself as well. I used the drill for this. I made a little, you know, spider uh, ventilation in there. And then this is what I used the grommet and the tool for. So I used, I uh, used the, um, the soldering iron and made a hole in the top of that. And then, um, used the grommet 
and the tool and that's more ventilation on the top and then i made a little waterfall in there and that's another example of one of those hides and then even cheaper super low tech is uh these are 32 ounce um deli cups that i just got off of amazon and most of the time i also make another hole in the top on these two just this one is not like that and i use the soldering iron and um cut holes burn holes onto either side and use like um two pieces of tool and make the circles around there and then glue them on there and that is for ventilation and i use the hot glue gun for on the bottom of the cup for the straw hole and i make sure that i close that up so they can't get out and then i just glue um you know um big flowers soap flowers in there you know it's really up to you so those real quick these are all the things that you would need to get started on um to get ready for your new spider friend